Hi, I'm Emily Furr. We're in Charleston, South Carolina in my art studio. This is the large corner of the living room where I paint and stuff. This is a commission, somebody's pet that they really wanted a giant portrait of. This is a piece I recently finished. And then a lot of little guys that I just love to make little sentimental fun things. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I grew up on John's Island, which is like 20, 15 minutes from downtown Charleston. Rural, very woodsy. It's getting more developed now, which is kind of crazy just to see it like get all these like apartments and things. Cause when I lived there, it was just like woods. When did you start making art? I've been drawing since like I was little cause my parents' architecture firm was like right next to our house on John's Island. So they would just roll out these big like blueprint sheets and give us like colored pencils. And me and my brother would create these like little worlds, like what kind of trees do we have? And like, what do the people wear? And like, what do the houses look like? So that's kind of the start, but I didn't take it seriously until high school maybe when my teacher was like, oh, you might be good at this. And then I went to college for elementary education. Uh, I was quickly like, dang, I feel like I don't fit into this mold that everyone else is sort of doing. Like I'm more into my art classes. And so I was just like, I'm gonna take this leap and here I am. Tell me about how some of these cutout type pieces come together. Um, I've been using this material called insulation board or polystyrene. It looks like this naturally, it's like, it's just very light. It's like hard, but it's like not like wood hard. Um, you can cut it with like heat, like a hot knife, which I found like in between undergrad and grad school to be like so approachable because I didn't have like a wood shop or like a studio. So I was like, what can I do without like a giant studio? And that was like so approachable. It's hard for me to paint on like rectangles now because I'm just like, but there are so many options. Yeah, but I do love my little rectangles. Like with this guy, I wanted to use a fun material for that one. So that's like an industrial ripstop fabric, which they make like things that people wear on the side of the road when they're doing like road work, the little vests and stuff. So this is one I recently did. So I started with a found photo that I found in my basement of me and my mom. We're having this picnic and it's one I've seen like a lot before. Like I was like, oh, I kind of want to dig into that, which is how a lot of my pieces start. It's like, I don't have this big conceptual idea going, but like as I go, sort of more thoughts form and like this one's sort of about like the idealization of the past and just like creating this perfect memory that I have no memory of. Reflecting on my mom and I's relationship now because we had like a time where like we just didn't get along at all and then as I've grown like I see her every day I call her every day like we're best friends <laughs> and I guess it's sort of like that growth I don't know a lot about idealization of memories and maybe even the future I don't know it's all sort of brain cloudy but I kind of like just like not being a hundred percent sure just letting it exist how has art changed your life? I feel like I'm like a very emotional person, um, which I mean most people are in their own ways, but I feel like I'm a big crier. I get sad over a lot of stuff and really happy, but um, I feel like, like my big paintings, even some of the little ones are just like ways to let some of that out in a really healthy way and think through my stuff. Just be like, oh, I'm gonna paint for a while and think about these things that are really like hard to think about. Giving them time is really nice. Like the act of painting is sort of giving myself time to feel in a really healthy way. What's it like to be a painter in Charleston? Um, I feel like our contemporary art scene is not very big so far, but there's a lot of traditional art because Charleston's main like thing is tourists. So my art is pretty different, but I have found that a lot of people like are really attracted to my work 
as a person from Charleston and the South, my work sort of reads as very like Southern and like people really connect to that, making me see like, oh, people do want this. There just isn't a huge, like it just isn't here yet, which I think it will be. You're gonna be one of the starters of it. I hope so. <laughs>